Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Let's see here. I'm trying to go to my other page. Good morning. Say good morning when you hop on. Let me know how you're doing, how you feeling. <laughs> all right, y'all. I came on to show you all the, uh, I'm making, ooh, y'all done pushed the wrong thing. I'm making um, steak and eggs for breakfast. I mentioned it. Hey, Shanti. Hi, Stacey. I mentioned yesterday on my live, you all, from yesterday evening, um, <laughs> Just got a crazy message. I mentioned that I was going to have steak and eggs. So today I'm going to make my steak in the pan and show you all how I make that. In my cookbook, let me get my cookbook really quickly. Um, my version. All right, so in my cookbook, I do have um, the recipe, you all, for my oven broiled steak. Let me see where it is. What page are we on? We're on page 114. So if you have your book, it's on page 114. So that's what we're doing this morning. Steak, eggs. I also want to show you all one of my favorite coffee drinks. I don't drink it much because it's high in fat. But I'm going to show you all how I make it. Good morning. How are you? Hi, Kevin. <laughs> I'm going to turn y'all this way so you all can see my little coffee thingy so this is my why isn't my thing coming it's not plugging hold on y'all Aaliyah unplugged my my Keurig to plug in the toaster this morning so we need to plug that up okay there we go I used to be a really big coffee drinker I'm not anymore but when I do drink it, I like Maxwell House. It's one of my favorites. The breakfast blend is so good in the K-Cups. So I like to use those. I have a ton of mugs. <laughs> ton of mugs. So I'm going to use my newest mug, which is my Chicago mug. I love so much. That was brought to me as a souvenir from my dear friend. And I'm going to show you all how to make this um, coffee drink. Good morning, Diane from STL. Hi, Cheryl. Let me put my oven on you all because I'm going to broil my... I'm going to cook it in the um, pan a little bit and then I'm going to put it in the oven for a few minutes while we do the eggs. And I'm going to saute me some onions. Good morning. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, Kiara. Hi, Raina. Hi, Robin. I love this little cure egg, you all. It's quick, and it gets the job done. <laughs> gets the job done. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Martha. Hi, Estelle. Are you all having breakfast? I'm not a big breakfast person. Um, normally, I do not eat breakfast. Nine times out of ten, I don't do breakfast. So, I know I'm not going to eat a lot of this food, but I am a little hungry this morning. Do I want to do the big cup? My cup's kind of small. I'm going to do the medium-sized cup, you all. Hi, Chanel. You said send you the coffee. I'm not drinking. You need a cup of coffee? I love me some Maxwell House. I do have Folgers in there, too. When I'm actually putting it in my coffee maker, I like to use Folgers. I have Maxwell House, too, in the, um, the ground coffee. Y'all see that? It smells so good. Hi, Victoria. Good morning. You having a fruit smoothie? Somebody needs breakfast at work? All right, I'm going to show y'all how to make this drink. You can make this at home. It's really simple and easy, y'all, and it tastes so good. But like I said, it's high in fat, so just keep that in mind. So you have a hot cup of coffee. You want to start with that. And then what you need is you need a scoop of ice cream. You need some Ready Whip. And you need some caramel syrup. Okay, let me get my ice cream. I like to use these little blue bells. They're good for the kids, too. So you use whatever ice cream that you want or that you have. Let me 
let me get one of my smaller scoops. And you only need one scoop of ice cream. This is gonna serve as your creamer. Somebody said, how did I stop drinking coffee? I don't know. I think that, you know, as we get older, you all, we change. So I've just been noticing just different changes about myself. I used to drink about three to four cups of coffee a day. One scoop. Now you could do more than one scoop in yours, but it's your creamer. It's gonna be your creamer. So keep that in mind. And then it begins to melt. Let me show y'all so y'all can actually see inside the cup. That's the whole point. I want y'all to see this. Let's move my phone. All right, let me come a little closer. So you have your scoop of ice cream. Let me get a spoon. Your ice cream's gonna melt. This is so good, you all. It takes just a few minutes. Now, if you like extra sweet, the ice cream is sweet enough for me, you all. Like, I don't like my coffee super sweet. But if you need a little more sweetness, what you want to do is add in some of your caramel, okay? Just put a little squirt or two in there. But I'm not doing that to mine because I don't need all of that. Then next, you want to take your whipped cream. And you want to do that. And then you take your caramel and you drizzle it on the top. And that's it. Look how easy that was. Easy, easy peasy. <laughs> and now you're good to go. So those that used to work with me, at uh, I used to work at Sudden Link. Um, Y'all know I used to make these for uh, my coworkers. I've worked at call centers, so you know, I used to like to make drinks for my coworkers. I used to make them these on a special occasions. Mmm. Mmm. Woo! It's so good, y'all. Mmm. All right, let's come on over here. So make that at home. Try it. I know I have karma on my face. Give me a second. <laughs> Easy to make. Literally. Hot cup of coffee. You got your... Uh, whipped cream and your caramel. That's all you need and a scoop of ice cream. Now, this morning I'm doing steak and eggs. So I have my, um, if you were on my live last night, I had an extra steak left over, a uh, New York strip. So this morning I'm gonna cook that New York strip, okay? What you said, don't, <laughs> don't be scared to get it on my face. Hi Valerie, good morning. Definitely try it. These are some ideas you can try for the weekend. Those that want to try steak and eggs or steak and potato this weekend and you don't really know how to make it, like I said, I have a recipe in my cookbook if you have it. Um, I'm a, I did the, I'm going to tell y'all something about the, uh, that smokeless grill. I would use that more for uh, chicken uh, or fish. So you can use it for your steak. It's just that you have to be careful with that smokeless grill cooking your beef. You don't want to overcook your meat. So I know my steak was more done than I like it. So today I'm gonna to show you all how I like my steak. I do not like my steak cooked well. Aaliyah does, she can't stand pink. She'll have a fit if she sees pink. But um, I'm gonna teach her how to eat her steak. <laughs> I gotta teach my baby girl how to eat her steak because baby, that ain't it. That is not it. So I got my butter. I got my pan oiled down a little bit. I'm gonna grab my olive oil. I'm gonna put a little bit in my skillet. I am using my cast iron skillet today. I honestly don't think the pan matters, so you can use whichever pan you know that you have. And I'm gonna add some butter as well to my skillet. And I got it on a medium high heat right now. So we're gonna make this quick little breakfast. Don't be, you know, don't be scared to use the butter. The butter's good. Hi, Mary. I think it was Doria. Hi, Doria. Yes, it's good. It's good, honey. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. That's why I don't need no more sweet. It's good. It's good. And your coffee's still hot. The ice cream does not make your coffee... You know, you would think that it would, it would make your coffee cold, but it doesn't. It gets it just right. Just right. Good morning, Lulu. Good morning, Sharon. 
This is a New York strip steak, but you can use, you can do this with any recipe. I think in my book, I kind of said uh, ribeye or T-bone, but those are my favorites, so. These were on sale. It's hard to find um, good steaks nowadays. I don't know what's happening. When I was at, uh, when I was at Publix, even there was a guy standing there and he was saying the same thing that he had came in there to check for a steak and he couldn't find no good steak either. But Sam's has them, but they're just so big. I'm gonna put a little bit more of my Raleigh's on the other side. My Raleigh's all purpose that I shared with you all on last night. We shouldn't need no more olive oil, we're good on that. All right, so just butter and a little olive oil in there. I only season my steak with the Riley's All Purpose. That's it. Good morning, Mary. Thank you, Lulu. Good morning, Alyssa. Girl, Kawana, I used to eat my steak medium rare. Hi, Wes. Yes, Phyllis, I'm using the all-purpose. Hi, Clarice. Good morning, Renai. Thank you for being here. Hi, Cheryl. Good and square. Look at that. No, it was not hard to clean. Um, if you watch the, if you go back and watch the beginning of my live, uh oh, that I did yesterday. Um, I kind of showed you the layers of that, uh, smokeless grill, so it's very easy to clean. It was very easy to clean. I've already cleaned it, of course, last night, but I got it back in the box. So it's easy to clean. Let me show y'all this steak. I got my oven on 475, because I'm going to cook this a little bit, and then I'm going to put it in the oven. Now, I like my steak more of a medium, Okay. That's how I like my steak. Let me put some of them juices on there. Let me turn y'all so y'all can see what I'm going to do. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. Put y'all like that. I want you to be able to see, though. Okay. I need a little spoon, right? Now, you don't have to use a cast iron. That's completely optional. I like to just grab some of my butter and, and juices and put it on my steak. Yes, goodness. It's going to be some good eating right here. All right, let me wipe those around that. Again, I'm doing more of a medium. And you know when you let your uh, steak rest, it continues to cook. So keep that in mind as well. And we're about ready to go into the oven. And while it's in there, we'll go ahead and make our, um, we'll do our eggs. All right, I'm going to show you what I'm about to do. Put y'all right here for a second. All you want to do with your steak at this point, put it in the oven. Now, you can also continue to just cook it on top of the stove, but I'm going to put mine in the oven. Now, see? It's going in. I forgot this was in there uh, from last night. Now, I got it on four, it's on 475, but it's still kind of heating up. It's at 450 now. So now we'll do our eggs. I'm gonna leave my steak in there for, eh, I'll put it on six minutes. I may or may not leave it in there for that long. You said, where did you buy your steaks? I got those from Publix. I don't render fat off of them, Diane. You watch one of my favorite skillets I want to use for my eggs. One of my um, 
granite stone. And I think on my live, I was telling y'all my favorite is, I think I was saying ironclad. It's all clad. The brand that I love. All clad, not ironclad. I don't even, I don't even know if there is an ironclad. <laughs> but anyway. Put y'all back over here. I gotta wipe up that. Little juice. I like soft eggs. So you just take your eggs how you like them. I also like them over easy. But I'm not doing over easy today. I like when that yolk is runny. But that is not what I'm doing today. Because I like to have hash browns and toast when I'm doing that. <laughs> and I'm not doing that today. No hash browns and toast. Now, I love Eggland's best. Remember, the only eggs I buy. What are your favorite eggs? Eggs do have a taste. <laughs> so, I like Eggland's. And I like brown eggs. There are some brown eggs I tasted that were really, really good. Vanessa, it's called Riley's All Purpose. Riley's All Purpose. And I shared the link in my live from last night. All right, y'all. Let's hook up these eggs. And I'm going to show y'all something. Mm-hmm. I just put salt pepper in my eggs. Nothing major. Let me get my... I love brown eggs. They are so good. They're good. Now they taste, they probably taste better to me than um than egg ones. <laughs> Alright, y'all, let's make sure the steak is good. Oh yeah. It's coming right along. And I'm gonna need some salt and pepper for my eggs. Not too much. And pepper. I need a small pepper instead of this big old pepper. I use all of my small pepper. And I love cooking my eggs in these pans because they just, they just cook so good. All right. Mm. That's good. Brown eggs are good. Robin, we need to eat together then, honey. All right, get my eggs together. I'm gonna go ahead and lift this steak. I'm gonna take my steak out and sit it on something so it can rest. Okay. Yes, honey. Y'all know y'all can't turn your back on your eggs. Because, baby, they are cooked before you know it. And my eggs are perfect. There we go. Now, y'all see that steak? I'm about to cut it open. Don't you worry. Your little heart. I'm about to cut it open, honey. Don't you worry. All right, let's get a plate. Cause it's time to eat and I don't like my eggs to get um like when you let them sit in the pan they get hard so I have to take my eggs right out if I went on live I would have just went on and did it because I don't like my eggs to get hard so they still be cooking or something all right let's wipe our area remember to clean 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 as you go <laughs> Clean as you go, you won't have a lot to do when you're done. Plus it just, I don't know. I was just taught to do that. All right, move this butter. 
Now, what else would you all put with this? I'm just doing steak and eggs and my coffee. But what are some of the things that you would have to have with your steak and eggs? Sometimes I do hash brown. I wasn't doing that today. I'm trying to really not deal with some carbs like that. Plus, I'm having this fattening coffee today. Hello. All right, y'all. I want y'all to see the steak. Hold on. I want y'all to see. I can get it to where y'all can see. But I'll, I'll bring y'all closer, so don't worry if you can't see, see. All right, we got it. Oh, okay. All right, I'm ready. I'm so ready. I don't know what to do. I'm going to cut it. Woo, cut like butter. Baby. Look at that. Like butter. Perfection for me. So I'm going to take this and cut me some slices. And put it on my plate. It's just cutting with such ease. Such a blessing. Now, if you want yours done a little more, you just leave it on in that oven a little longer. But I can't do it. <laughs> I can't not do it. All right. Remember, we talked about presentation. When you're feeding others, you just want to kind of, I'm feeding myself, so I do care how my food is. Alright, you all. One last thing, and we're going to taste this steak. And move this over. And I'll bring you all closer. Y'all see that steak? And them eggs, honey. Mm. Thank you. That's my grandmother. Mm-hmm. That's okay, Barbara. It's not too pink for me. It's not too pink for me. <laughs> but I understand if it's too pink for you. I get it. I understand. I understand, baby. That's why we have different, different tastes. Different strokes for different folks. Thank you, Lord, for this food. It's so juicy. About to receive. In Jesus' name. Mm. Mm. Woo! Mm. That traveled through my body. I don't know if y'all saw that. Mm. My God. Them eggs so good, y'all. My God. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man. I got a new song in my spirit. Mm. That's good. That Riley's. I wish I could show y'all that. Mm. Oh, I ain't got it. I ain't got the container to show you. Mm. That was a good fatty piece too. <sighs> two things. You know it's tender when you can cut it with your fork. I just cut that in half of my fork. It's just right. And you know it's good when you don't need no sauce. Mm. Man. That's good. I actually took out the onions and um, mushrooms. I just didn't do it. That was so good. I need some water. I don't know why I picked y'all up. Let me get me a bottle of water. It's good, girl. It's good. Mm. So I just wanted to show you the recipe for that book is, I mean, that uh, steak is in my cookbook. It's my oven broiled steak. So 
I show you how to do it in the book. I just showed you on the video again. So good. It's just good, you all. Um, the flavor is everything. The flavor is everything. So even if you don't use the Rileys, use your favorite all-purpose. You don't need no lot of season on your steak. You get the right flavor on there. You don't even need no sauce. Mm. Man. It's so good. So, I want to thank y'all for hopping on. I know some people had to go, and I understand. I always appreciate your time. It was something I was going to remind y'all of. Uh, for those that are not in the weight loss and lifestyle changes group, we start our Daniels Fast actually on January 3rd. January 3rd. We have our Daniels Fast every January. Hold on, y'all. I dropped something. Every January, we have a Daniels Fast. So, if you're interested in joining us, you may come to the group. It's free to join. And, um, yeah, just make sure you join in by the last week in December because I'll be sharing all the information that you need, okay? That's right, Rose. Thank you, Phyllis. I'll see you all on Sunday. Mm -mm. I may not see y'all Sunday. I'll probably see y'all have to see you all on Saturday because I may not be able to cook live Sunday. So um, I'll likely be live on Saturday. That's tomorrow. No, today's, yeah, today is Friday. <laughs> It'll be tomorrow. <laughs> All right, bye, Diane. Lorena, you just go to weight loss and lifestyle changes. Myra said, I need some grits, biscuits, or toast. I can, I can do that for you, too. You like cheese grits or butter grits? <laughs> or salt and pepper grits? I can do it all. Hi, Miss Glenda. Listen, and it's so funny because I just start singing and everything. <laughs> It's so good. You're welcome. Thank you, Mike. Tony, enjoy your breakfast, dear. Good morning, Ricky. Have a great day, Valerie. You too, Mika. You too, Diane. Lakita says she wants some butter grease. I got you, girl. Oh, Deborah asked me what was in the coffee. Okay, it was um, so I did I like uh Maxwell House. So I did a cup of coffee about here. I added in one scoop of vanilla ice cream. I used my um, Bell's, what is it, is it Bell? Blue Bell. I used a scoop of Blue Bell ice cream, small scoop, small scoop. You can add more if you want. Um, you top it off with Ready Whip, and then you add a little drizzle on top of your Ready Whip. And once the live is over, you can go back to the front and watch it. I'm telling you, don't drink them every day. I'm telling you, they gonna, it's, it's too much everything in it. It's too much sweet, fat, all that stuff, but every now and then, Treat yourself to one of those. They are so good. If you like coffee, they are so, so, so good. <laughs> all right, y'all. Thanks for hopping on, and I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>